hello, Mike, owners of Down and Country. Country Cafe, the best breakfast in the world, I would say that, whenever I come Aww, and get a breakfast. Um, so guys, uh, basically I just want to come ask you, how are you holding up? How's everything during the pandemic and the shutdown? Fun. Nothing better than working 14 hours a day. There you go. <laughs> we actually were considering to start a, a show, like do a, our own video to get to know Mike and I, but then we decided that, you know, we're yelling at each other all the time in the kitchen. So, maybe so, so domestic violence is rose? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. She only beats me three, four days a week. That's all. But that's because you asked her to, so. <laughs> yeah. We, um, you just have to adapt mm -hmm. and you know, you're just working differently. So you're working harder mm -hmm. differently. And it gets very frustrating because there's no, there's nothing smooth about it. Mm -hmm. You're either slammed and the phones are ringing all at one time. Mm -hmm. And we only have two lines. Yeah, sure. And, or you're dead like this. So mm -hmm. we can go hours with not even having an order. Yeah, I think and that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, boom. but then boom. And then 20. Hmm. And then yeah, minutes. and then we get texts and you know messages and uh, Facebook messages. Hey, I tried calling, nobody's answering. It's mm -hmm. like because everybody, it's almost like everybody wakes up all at one time. Oh yeah, probably like at eleven a.m. Yeah, it's about ten, <laughs> about 10, 30, 10 yeah. ten thirty, and they wake up all at one time. It's like don't give up on it. Yeah, because we only have two lines, and mm -hmm. they're you know the girls are we're talking to somebody, or we might only have one girl here mm -hmm. because there's not enough. So, so what have the rules been uh, for you guys to remain open, right? Because almost everything else is shut down in downtown here, yeah, right? So yeah. even some of the restaurants are too, right? Yeah. Uh, but you That's guys... That's by choice, though. Is it? Okay. I think some... I mean, the coffee house, no. Okay. The coffee and the tea house, I don't believe they were allowed to until just recently. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, though. I don't know their rules. What specific rules were you, that you were aware of uh, that were given to you? What specific... The, the rules that were given to us is that it was takeout only, mm -hmm. social distancing. Mm -hmm. That's it. And so it could be curbside, and so because we have the drive through at the back door, okay. we were just having people make their, whatever they were comfortable with, we told them that you can come in, because there's hardly, it's usually one, maybe two. It's very rare that we'll have a backup mm -hmm. of four people, but we have plenty of space to do social distancing. Mm -hmm. And people right now are staying away from each other anyway. Like, I mean, I was it's like- It's a natural progress. Mm, I, I don't like it. Like, I was walking, just walking here from, um, like, to my house today, and I was walking, and a guy was walking towards me on the sidewalk, and I was like, you can do walking, and he went out across the street. Yeah, I was like, uh, yeah. really, dude? Yeah, that, like, yeah. What that happens when I go to the bank. It, it, it's, so there's a, it's really we've weird. been conditioned pretty quickly, you know what I mean? They're just, just. That's I'll, why I think it takes 21 days to form a new habit. It's been more than 21 days, mm -hmm. and at the end of the day, there needs to be trust that we all know what we're doing. Exactly. And if you're not comfortable, then just stay home. That, that's okay. That's okay. It's if you're not, it's it's fine. okay. Yeah. But to act like and to spread like cockroaches, you know, the minute you walk into, you know, place, so that is so weird. It's yeah, weird to me. It is weird. Yeah. And well, we were talking earlier, and you mentioned um, it's hard to find food, right? Um, so what do you mean by that? How right. Right now, it's it's getting hard. Right now, the beef with with what we've seen and pork and pork mm -hmm. so big and ham and then ground beef, in New York ribeyes. Everything's Rose, gone. hamburger, there's nothing. Cisco, our Cisco rep called me yesterday and said that there's well, they must be nothing here. fresh available. Um, so we have to buy frozen. So we have to buy frozen, 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 frozen We've never before. bought frozen patties before. We're always doing fresh. Yeah. And we They're make still the patties half ourselves mm -hmm. and now we can't. Um, hmm. But we're gonna, it's going to be like that for a couple of weeks, but at least. And then, then we talked to, so we're using all of our suppliers. Cisco's our number one. Mm -hmm. Then when we found out some of these things, and I'm looking for certain things in particular, like if I have to have a to-go box, I want the to-go to -go box to look good. Yes, of course. And I hate well, you have a standard. You have a standard, you guys right. said. Right. And, and, so, you to it. Yeah. and so the to-go boxes that we've been able to get have been really bad. And so I then mm. contacted our U.S. food service. I said, do you have this? No. She didn't have it. We had to buy them online through a web restaurant. They're still not here. Mm -hmm. So we're using Styrofoam from Costco because we ran out. Mm -hmm. That's been the other big issue is getting decent to go because everybody's into goes. Wow. And, and the, the kits. And the kits. So the, the salt, kits. pepper, knife, okay. and fork, and napkin, and a, so that way we don't have to physically nope. make a kit. Oh, God. It, it'd be Your work is triple. Your yeah. work is triple, quadruple. So yeah. there's well, no the price, and then therefore the price is quadruple because nobody <laughs> thinks about the cost of the salt and pepper and napkin and fork and knife and plate or box wow. that goes into every single thing. Bean counting the entire time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, you're right. I mean, so, I would meet someone. I just came in here over lunch today, and I would not think about that, you know. But right. you definitely are. And even the bags, mm -hmm. the to-go bags, the, 
you know, there are things Everything. that you don't think about are getting harder. One week it's so then like this week, for example, they're telling us there's not gonna be any beef. We're selling a ton of burgers. Well, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. So then we went to a third food distributor and bought a pre-made half pound patty, which we would never have done in the past because mm -hmm. we make our patties. Yeah. And we bought the pre-made from another distributor. We had to buy 20 cases. So now we don't have any sales, but I just had to spend $1,000 that I don't really have yes. to make sure that I can still provide food in the coming weeks Jesus. to stay open. So there's like these... The domino effect is the same. Yeah. It's, it's, it's hitting every, it's hitting everything. Yeah. Every single thing, the personal, professional, everything. Well, and the distributors are all telling us too that they're getting hit hard because the retailers don't have anything. So the retailers are coming to the food service distributors to get supplies. Mm -hmm. And so the food service distributors are selling to retailer, but then they're they're short for the restaurants. So it's all those. Yeah, Jeez, the reality. Man, that's according, insane. according to the restaurant um, restaurant news. Yeah. National Restaurant Association. Yeah. Thirty-five percent of the restaurants will not reopen. They're done. They're done. Are done. They're killing. They're killing. At least thirty-five percent. You know, it seems like the virus has infected business, not people. Because I haven't seen, I haven't seen, or know. I know a lot of people who are a lot of different places who know people as well. You know that domino. And um, I don't want anybody sick or who died. But no. businesses are dropping like flies. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Well, and then the people. Sad. It's very sad because. Um, I just think that at the end of the day, it maybe, I shouldn't say that it didn't need to last this long, mm -hmm. but. Do you have an opinion? <laughs> yeah, I just have to be careful. You do. You know? Yeah, you do. And so um, I think at the end of the day, there's no reason that we couldn't, um, you know, for example, like a hair salon. Mm -hmm. I mean, we all need to get our hair cut, and mm -hmm. we all need to get our hair colored for women mm -hmm. and, and men too. Well, it's mental but, health. We're talking about mental health too, but, And right? that's mental yeah. health that uh -huh. makes you feel good, makes you feel like you're in the living mm -hmm. again. But for example, on that, so you have a large salon. Okay, the people can schedule. You can yes. spread out four, four people depending on the... You adapt. Uh, you adapt. And you yeah. just adapt. Mm -hmm. They're not trusting anybody to know what to do. Yeah. Hey kids, no, no, right? I mean, and exactly. that's that's offensive. So of course that makes you want to revolt and, you know, burn down. Never mind, just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, there's been a lot of restaurants actually. That there was one in El Dorado. She opened, she didn't care. So, I just read another one that is a, a bistro someplace in California. Yeah, Sutter, uh, El Dorado on the counties in the Northeast, they're opening, they don't care. I mean, they're open, the, yeah, the towns yeah, are opening 100% yeah, of Yeah, I heard about yeah. that on uh, Michael yeah. Savage the other day. I was like, yes, yeah. you know, do it, just do it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, screw it, why not? Um, gosh, that was, that's But horrible. then we were, there was a few of us talking about, you know, not necessarily rebelling against what the rules were, mm -hmm. but you know, really aggressively, come on, you guys, what if we did open? What would happen? What would happen? ABC would take away all of our liquor licenses. There you go. Yeah. And that's a lot of... That's, 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 weapon, down, that's, that's, weaponizing, that's weaponizing the government uh -huh. against, against the people. That's downtown, though. That's what got downtown to where it is now is the and alcohol YouTube. and the food. Yeah, exactly. You know? it's something, because all the money was going out of town, right? And you two had a lot to do that, didn't you? Didn't you sort of help sh shape the whole... Well, we were the first restaurant. We opened in 2012 mm -hmm. so that was basically you're still in the, the um, recession okay back then. oh yeah and um, we were the first restaurant to open downtown it was his da Vinci's. this was his deli oh, first okay. okay yeah so we just shut down his deli turned it into town and country but there was no other there was no other nightlife businesses mm -hmm. downtown mm -hmm. so we opened breakfast and lunch and then we always have done catering. Mm -hmm. And then that was in 12, and everybody wanted us to open for dinner. Mm -hmm. So in 2013, so awesome. we cool. opened for dinner. Mm -hmm. There were still no other restaurants downtown, and it almost bankrupted us. No kidding. Oh yeah, five months we had to shut down Holy because shit. there's nobody coming downtown. Wow. So that's why when people say, why don't you guys open for dinner? We're like, ah. yeah. <laughs> we did that yeah. once before. Yeah. And why don't you come in every night? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. And they don't think about, you know, they don't think about town and country for dinner because yes. we've never been open for dinner mm -hmm. in their mind. Mm -hmm. I didn't and know you so, were open for dinner. Now you're saying it. Yeah. yeah. And so the frustrating thing for us is that back in 2013, we ended up getting in severe debt, domino effects. See, that's the other thing that scares me about this right now. We well, have yeah, the government's giving you this, they're giving you that, they're helping you here, they're Not helping forever. you there. Not forever, there will be a domino effect. And we literally just got out of what? $300,000 debt. Oh wow. This year. We're yeah. paying off our last 
bill. So everybody says, oh my gosh, they're so busy, they're so busy. No, we're, we got in so much debt mm -hmm. in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And that five months of opening for dinner. But you kept the faith, kept pressing, you know? Like, we yeah, just yeah. shut down, cut yeah. the bleeding, mm -hmm. redid things. Stop the bleeding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, stopped the bleeding. Re readjusted. Mm -hmm. And that's what's going to happen when we reopen. It won't be. Like, you guys took many steps back, right? Many, many well, steps back to try. Many steps back. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a lot of. I mean, already there's changes. The front counter is going to be gone. There's no more deli case going to be up there anymore, and there's really? no more cashier up there. Um, that's got to be tables, because if they're going to make us reopen at half capacity, I got to be able to spread my tables out, mm. so then maybe I can fit more people. Because what's the capacity going to mean? Mm -hmm. Six feet distancing of tables, or yeah. half of the people that are, are allowed in my capacity. And there's no, there's no. Uh, uh Direction or anything on how long that's going to last, right? There's no, we, we haven't gotten anything to talk about at all. We don't even know when it's going to start. Sure. They might not even know. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? I will say that my, I actually talked to my mother and she said that there was, some, there was a news conference today and they're possibly thinking a couple of weeks. So oh, he's, he's feeling the, he's feeling the pushback. Yeah, you know, so he, he's feeling, yeah. scared. He's he looks scared. The last, I saw an uh, interview with him last week and his body language was, he was like, Mm -hmm. Real twitchy and tweaky, and I was like, "What the hell's going on with this guy?" Yeah. He looked freaked out, freaked out. As he more... should. Oh yeah, because oh, yeah. The, the people are starting to rebel. Yeah, good, good. Yeah, forgot, well, how, forgot then, how to be Americans. Well, <laughs> and the, the thing too will be that you know everything's going to go away from. You're not going to have a salt and pepper shaker on the table anymore. You're not going to have syrup that you can pour and help yourself anymore. You're not going to probably right? have yeah, this touching be in the because of the germs. Yeah. So all of the things that you know and that catch your packets heard, instead of catch your bottles. So, mm. so they're going to turn us into a bistro deli, I guess. And so um, mm. they've, we've heard that it's going to be disposable plates, forks, knives, napkins, and so that's going to get extended to anything that's on the table. And it's more cost. It's more cost too, right? I mean, yeah. Well. Yeah, but it offsets a little bit with with liquid and dishwashing. Now, you, now dishwashing, you don't have to worry really about that. Oh, okay. Anymore. Okay. So you, you're doing pots and pans, but you're not doing plates. And so okay. Much. Yeah. So oh you, you kind of make it up. But then what's going to end up happening is you're going to end up guaranteed there's going to be a shortage on disposable products. Of course. And this is interesting. Uh, I'll open China by the way. And this is interesting. Yeah. Um, and yet nobody's sick. Nobody's sick. Well, I mean, you hear so many different stories. Mm -hmm. I mean, just, I'm, I'm so, talking from my own eyes, my own perception. I haven't seen anybody say that, so I can say that. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. We and have, I haven't seen anybody say mm -hmm. But then they, they're not going to come in here if they're sick. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. I mean, that I just worry about, um, like, the people that we know. We have a server that's not coming back to work because her mom has cancer. Okay, yeah. And so, obviously, no. You mm -hmm. do not come back to work. Mm -hmm. You do not jeopardize mm -hmm. yourself. Take those precautions. Yeah. Exactly. And it's, gonna, it's an individual basis. So. It's individual. Yeah. I mean, in our staff, too, you know, we've, we've given them masks to mm -hmm. wear. And obviously, they have to wear gloves and things like that. Mm -hmm. But we say, you know, the health department is saying it's suggested it's not required. Mm -hmm. And so, you can't. We have one cook that came back today, and he's wearing a mask. And that's fine. Mm -hmm. But it's hot in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And then the gloves get hot over the grill. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know vinyl or whatever it is. Yeah, oh, latex. Yeah, yeah, that's latex. crazy. And so that's on your hands. It's making um, everything difficult. Everything difficult, yeah. It just changes the way that you do things, but, mm -hmm. you know. But the reality is, at the end of the day, mm -hmm. listening to, she's on a restaurant Facebook group all over the United States mm -hmm. that she hears stuff on. But the reality is, the Tracy, the community of Tracy has definitely Amazing. Support, oh, yeah. Supported us. Oh, yeah. It, oh, yeah. It's been, it's been that's almost awesome. every customer. We just don't want you guys to close. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and it's so been incredible. I mean, that's got to feel good. That feels yeah. good, though, right? You, yeah. Oh, my God. I get tears. <laughs> yeah. In yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. 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 You know yeah. what I mean? That's awesome. Yeah. Because you, you, you always hear the bad. Mm -hmm. You know, always hear the bad. You never mm -hmm. really hear the good. But clearly, there's enough good because it's it's definitely. And that needs to be promoted. Yeah, we yeah. had. Loop that. Yeah, we went through in the beginning and figured out how, what we needed to make every day to survive, even without PPP money, mm -hmm. if we didn't get that. Mm -hmm. And we've been hitting that number on a daily basis. Outstanding. So Outstanding. Is, yeah. You're lucky. You're lucky. Yeah, right. there's, a, there's very, few, yeah, very few that are doing that. Most of the people are... And because of the standard you guys set, everybody yeah. loves it. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. That's good. Now, um, let me take a little turn real quick. Now, 
personally? <laughs> How are you guys doing personally? How are you holding up? Your mental health. I mean, I know she's been beating you, but you know. <laughs> you know what? It's, okay. it's, it's, but you asked for it, so that's weird. But no, whatever you're into, I don't judge. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. She, she's actually handling it better than I am. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I get. As the older I'm getting, the more anxiety I'm getting. Mm -hmm. you know, oh, you're worried. You're worried about it. Yeah. Well, his mom a couple weeks ago came. She's our bookkeeper, and she came to the back door, mm -hmm. and um, she didn't come in. She's wearing her mask, even our paperwork through the car window, and she looks at me directly mm -hmm. at me and says, "You need to shut down. He's going to have a heart attack. You need to shut down." I'm like, "He's fine," and she's like, "No, he is complete." And he was. He was completely stressed out. I'm like. And I said, he's been like, he's always like this. This is, this is just the way it is. She said, no, I want you to shut down. I mean, she was telling us, mm -hmm. my son's going to have a heart attack. Mm -hmm. You need to shut down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm like, but he was. He, yeah. He, he does think, get... But that was me in the kitchen. Yeah, about her up front. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was just the two of us. Just the two of us. We did the first, yeah, the first two weeks, the first week, two, three weeks. Mm -hmm. we it was just, it was just me and There was nobody I, else. Damn. So she was doing everything. committed. Yeah. 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 Hard, but probably you're, you're, you're cussing yeah. and you're screaming, and, and then we go home together. And, no, we're all right. Yeah, it's, it's that's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we've been like that. Leave it. Yeah. 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 We don't leave it. We don't leave it. No, no, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> you're sitting there like, no, I'm about the pesto. Yeah, I never get left there, Jamie. No, oh no. I was trying to build that up for you, but you ruined it. No, perfect example is that you're so you're so tired. Of course. Because that's the thing is we are you're exhausted. Yeah. And you're stressed. Mm -hmm. You don't know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And we were getting the overwhelming support. Mm -hmm. But your fear, I mean, and I still have this fear. I'm always the one that looks beyond mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. And so he looks at the day-to-day -day everything Operation and I'm always yeah. going beyond. I'm like, okay, well, it's like this right now. Mm -hmm. And we're okay right now. But the more people are shut down, yeah. the less people will have money the less they'll be able to spend, this becomes a true treat. Of course. Mm -hmm. And so then I'm stressing out. So then, for example, a lot of well, mm -hmm. and, and then this whole food situation, you were we had yesterday, um, just now we got the, one of the orders in with the 20 cases of beef because oh. we had to order 20 cases of this beef. Mm -hmm. He goes, I told you to order 10. I said, no, <laughs> you said, but we're both so tired that yeah, of course you're, you're not missing things. Yeah, yeah and you're not remembering everything. So then that's where we're, We've been in the walk-in a couple times. That's where we fight the most. Mm -hmm. So the staff doesn't. That's where we make up the most, too. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, clearly, clearly, this is. The <laughs> but you know oh yeah, what? not that. So that is a true story. Now. Then that is a true story. Yeah. Okay. No, but the <laughs> thing, yeah, but the thing is, is personally, we're doing okay. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Because you have to find humor. Yeah, like now. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. You, you do. have to find a, the silver lining, mm -hmm. you know. And mm -hmm. so we've been through actually. This is a different kind of hard, mm -hmm. but financially we've been through worse, and so. But you keep going. You, keep, but we, you just yeah. you have that's to, that resilience. That's that. You well, know. you you have to go back to why do you do what you do? Correct. And at mm -hmm. the end of the day, it always comes back. Mike said it, you know, because I've asked him, "Why are we doing this? If you know, why are we going to do this? Why?" Are, and he says to me, "I'm not going to do that. What you want to do, unless you tell me why you want to do this." Mm -hmm. And it always comes back to the same thing that we just enjoy. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you this. I'm glad you're doing it. I love coming here. Thank Best you. breakfast in the world. Yeah, that's, that's, that's really that, that's and I'll keep coming here. That's probably the hardest part about this this whole situation not is not seeing the people every day. Yeah, and not being able to come out and sit with the regular people. That makes that it super worth it. Yeah, there's the value, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, enjoy and and there's we have a lot of regulars that come in, and mm -hmm. we're not to be able to see them and sit and visit with them. We see them because they're still coming and picking up orders three, mm -hmm. four times a week, but we don't get to. Yeah, interact. Relax, we're truly interact. Yeah. Yeah. We're social animals, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And that's that's, 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 your that's your tribe. Part. That's your tribe. Yeah. But as far as us, I think truthfully that if you know that you're with the person you're supposed to be with, you just handle it. And that's just the way it is. That's awesome. So, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, yeah. I guess we'll, well, if you have anything else you guys want to say or anything, uh, as far as like other businesses no, downtown, just keep I, keep it up. And yeah, just, well, yeah, all the businesses. All downtown. the yeah, everybody. It, What's cool though is that everybody downtown, actually, now we have a new restaurant group mm -hmm. um, in Tracy, a Tracy restaurant. Oh, okay, group. nice. I don't know who started it and I don't know who adds people, but somehow we, you know, we got added. Uh -huh. And so, it's the, um, technology conversations, <laughs> yeah, technology. I don't even know who the people are. I'm like, who's that person? Yeah. And so, um, 
because we're always so we're all so busy that yes. you don't always get to go to all the different businesses but we've all always kind of known that we work together as a group yeah and even more so now mm -hmm. and even more so it's all following the same thing Every single yeah. Everybody's right? same, and we're yeah. all trying to do the very so best so everybody's helping help each, each other, other out mm -hmm. yeah. although i will say that personally I've been Johnny O's personal <laughs> advisor. Mm -hmm. since, Financial since life. This whole thing has yeah. been. I mean, the guy, calls, Fashion. The guy yeah. calls me three times a week. Uh -huh. And he always wants to know what I need, what, he need, ass what ass. he needs to do. I love him. Well, Don't yeah, get yeah. me wrong. Who doesn't? Yeah. You know, I just, but I want to go ahead and throw that out there. Okay, yeah. No, love no, you, John. Oh, that's messed up. He may need some more fashion tips, but yeah. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. But you know what though, my heart, like, we're doing this. We're Don't you cut that out. I hope you cut out some of it. Cut that out. Never. Never. 